Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look at the euro currency. So currently we identify the overall situation as a rising of the geopolitical pressure just because if we'll take a look at performance together on the dollar and 10 euro bond gold by the way you could see that all of them are rising so usually this is not typical for the calm market where the, everything is okay uh, correspondingly it makes impact on your currency in two ways first of all it makes direct pressure due to rising of the dollar but at the same time it leads to appearing of the tricky contradictive patterns between the dollar and the euro currency so on a daily chart we do not see yet any big changes context overall context remains bullish market stands for the third session inside of this performance from last week of this high wave pattern and actually stands inside of it uh, showing no breakout trend remains bullish on the daily chart that's why in general overall context remains bullish as well on your currency and if you remember in the weekend we actually talked about the chances for taking the position where it better to do so we have specified some levels uh, talked about the possible patterns talked about uh, some overall situation how it could uh, develop and and said let's keep an eye on intraday charts and watch for patterns so once we'll get the patient we could trying to use it for position taking because they could different so we were considering hand shoulders butterfly and so on so uh, on the fall time frame chart for now what we have we have the breakout out of this wedge consolidation or pennant which is nice potentially it might be some kind of the butterfly because if you measure the upside targets you could see that it more than enough to complete the op so you can see uh, this OP of this major ABC pattern stands right in between of these extensions. So butterfly easily could be formed here. So that's one of the patterns that we need to keep an eye on. But at the same time, with the more uh, detailed looking at the performance of the market right here. So in particular speaking on the hourly chart, you could see it very well. So let's take a look. Fast action, very gradual and slow action. Fast actions takes just five sessions to the downside or six and take a look how long market was uh, has taken to, to return back to the same point. So this is not definitely the bullish performance. And if it's speaking about the hand and shoulders that we initially talked about, this is not good sign for this hand and shoulders. Um, in other circumstances, we could suggest a kind of the free drive. But if you will measure the extensions, it's not quite the free drive. At the same time, uh, we just well anyway in the current circumstances i would wait for downside action whether this will be direct to the op we will get the completion of the one rate 45 which is really great because as we explained in the vehicle report so it'll be a good point a point to consider its conference support on the daily chart agreement with this major abcd target but at the same time we could watch for any retracement it's just because if it will be butterfly then as close we will take position to these lows all the better because in this case, we could place just tight stop and see what will happen. If even we'll get loss and butterfly will not work, that's no problem because, well, potential loss and risk will be very small. And in this case, we could keep an eye on something else. Um, but a uh, major conclusion that we could make right now is that it seems that this is not yet the upward reversal and downside action still could happen. From that standpoint, we're not hurry up with the buying on the euro currency besides by taking a look at the dollar index uh what we have here um, especially on the uh, lower time frames on the fall time frame chart for example take a look we have multiple bullish grabbers that's a forming here on the dollar index whether this will work or not is a different story but at least we have first grabber that's already complete with its upper direction second grabber suggests upper prediction on the dollar index above this area which simultaneously could mean that um uh, euro currency also could show a bit deeper retracement uh, the problem is actually as i said we have some contradictive patterns because if we take a look at the euro currency 
on the futures you also could find on the 4 hour time frame chart bullish grabber and suggesting taking out of this area but it's difficult to say whether this will work or not uh, so that's why in the current circumstances we're not really actually really worry about the grabbers uh, although they are positive but mostly our background is based on the overall market performance and here this type of action is not very encouraging for taking the long position because it looks really weak choppy very slow and more typical for retracement type of action in fact you could even recognize here kind of the garbage to put to sell right so drop abc retracement so garbage to put to sell uh, so and uh, as i said also you could see it performance on uh, 10 year bonds we've got second grabber in a row all the stuff suggests drop below this area back to the 3.65 area gold is rallying so this triple combination of the rallying of the gold 10 year bonds and uh, flat the dynamic of the dollar even with some upward action that we just discussed here makes me think that the ge geopolitics right now in, in the game so on this background uh, upside performance on the euro currency might be limited uh, well that's our two cents on the euro currency if uh, we will speak shortly about this we call you to not be hurry up with taking any long position by far uh, because chances on a deeper retracement at least on the euro currency seems not very low